Hello artist! Today we are going to be drawing a toucan. So to start, I will be using a sharpie, some white paper, but if you would like to start with a pencil in case you make any mistakes, that is a great idea. So the first thing we're going to draw is a branch for our toucan to sit on. So I'm going to draw a curved line from one side of my paper to the other, and then I'm going to make it a thick branch. I'm going to give it another line, start a little bit below the first line, and follow the same curve. But as I go, I want it to go from big to small. So I'm going to go closer to this first line on the other side. It's okay if your branch gets a little bumpy like mine did because branches aren't completely smooth. Now let's start on our toucan's body. I'm going to draw the top of his head and his back. He's going to look away. So I'm going to start with a backwards, kind of like a letter C, and end it at my branch. Then I'm going to draw the front of my toucan's body. I'm going to give him a little bit of a belly and then kind of like a neck right there. It's not exactly like the letter S, but it's a little curved line. Then from one line to the other, I just want you to close his face. And then we're going to draw his big beak. It's going to come forward from the top and then hook it down however long you want it to be. If you want him to have a longer beak, you could keep going and then hook it down even further. Then we are going to come down to where we have the connection line where his neck is and go up towards our beak. And we want to give him a way to open his mouth. So I'm going to start halfway in from my beak and then draw a straight line to his face. Now my toucan is going to have a stripy beak. Usually toucans have a black tip on their beak, so I'm going to give him that. And I can color that in right now with my Sharpie. And then I'm going to add those stripes. So I'm going to start at the top of my toucan's beak and come to the bottom. And then close that stripe by giving it a line very close to that first one. And I think I want another stripe farther back, so the same thing. Just two parallel lines. And there we go. Now, where is our toucan going to look at us from? An eyeball. So I'm going to draw a big circle. And then I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside of that. And I always like to add highlights. So I'm going to add two little dots for light, and then I will color the pupil black as well. All right, my friends, now toucans are usually black and they have a white spot around their eye. So we are going to draw the white spot. We start up at the top of his head and make sure you come between the back of his head and his eyeball. And then you start to curve down with the eye and you want to make it like a drop of water and then come back to the front of his face where the beak is. Very good. All right, we're going to add his tail. He's sitting on this branch, so his tail is going to come out from the behind the branch. I'm going to add the bottom of his tail first so I know it doesn't run off the paper. And then I'm going to do lines kind of like the letter C, and then a backwards letter C, so that it looks like it's underneath my toucan connecting the bottom of his tail. The last thing we need is some feet so that we know he is sitting on this branch. So I'm going to draw some two little curved lines at the top of my branch, and then I'm going to do some zigzaggy toes. 
Okay, I think my toucan is done, but my background is still a little boring. So let's add a branch. When we see tree branches, they always go from big to small. So at the base of our tree or a branch right here, we're going to have it be big. And then as it goes away, it will get smaller. So start my branch and I'm going to curve it up. I want to run it off the paper. And I'm going to do the same thing, but as I go, I'm going to get closer to that other branch. So watch, it's going to start pretty wide. And then as I go, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Let's do that again. I'm going to do a branch coming off of this one. I'm going to go right here and run it off the paper. Start a little wider and then get smaller and smaller and smaller. You can add as many branches as you want, wherever you want. And then I think on my branches, I want to add some leaves. So to draw a leaf, what I like to do is draw a football or a lemon shape. And then I draw a line down the center of that and give it a little veins, how our leaf circulates all its nutrients. And you can add those leaves wherever you want. All right, boys and girls, what do you think? I really like the way mine looks. And now it's ready R2 for color. Can. So I am going to start with a black crown and I'm going to color the body of my toucan black. I'm gonna leave his eye white. All right, now that I have my whole toucan colored, I'm gonna color his eye. I think I wanna use a nice green color for his eye. Now we're gonna get a nice yellow for his beak. And I think I wanna make his stripes red and orange. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is we are going to color our tree and our leaves. So you can choose any colors you want for those. I think I'm just gonna choose some regular tree and leaf colors some brown and some green. Whenever I color branches, I like to take one shade of brown and scribble the same direction as my branch, and then take a different shade of brown and color the rest of it in, trying to get those spots that I might have missed before. You can take a darker shade so that you can tell the difference and then it'll make it look more like wood. All right, and for our background, I think that I want to paint my background blue like the sky. But if you don't have any watercolor paint, you can use a blue crayon or marker to do the sky background. Today I am using watercolor, so whenever I use watercolor, I just take my brush and dip it in the water. I put the water in the color that I want to use, today that's blue, and I tickle it a little to wake it up. Then once it's awake, it's ready to use, I just use my brush, making sure the hair of my brush keeps having a good hair day. We don't want to change the shape of his hairdo or smash him on the paper. We want to be very nice to the brush and to our paper, because if we're too rough on our paper, it might rip. You can go right up against all of your drawings. And the cool thing is, because we used crayon, the watercolor won't go inside those crayon lines. So if you accidentally get a little bit inside your toucan's beak, the crayon will help stop that blue from going in there. So anywhere we have crayon, 
See, I can go right into the toucan's belly a little bit and it won't turn blue. All right, boys and girls, I think mine's done. What do you think? I hope you had fun. Bye.